So I really went and peaced out for a hot minute there, but you know, we're back. Now today we're going to be looking at trilobites. And for those of you who don't know what trilobites are, which I'm sure most of you do, they were one of the first groups of arthropods to have evolved in the early Cambrian. And the exact ones that we'll be focusing on today were around from the middle Cambrian, 542 million years ago to 488 million years ago. And they really prevailed right up until the Permian-Triassic extinction around 251 million years ago, RIP. And over the 270 million year reign, about 22,000 species have been located and described. But of course, there is one to rule them all. And that is my absolute favorite, my baby cakes, my sweet cheese, my good time boy, Paradoxides. This is one of the larger trilobites. It roamed around in what is now the Atlantic within the Avalonian beds. So these beds were formed on what is now modern day Europe and the east coast of America in the Iapetus Ocean. Now, my guy did not need to go to Specsavers because he had almost 360 degree view with his crescent shaped eyes, although this was along a completely horizontal plane. So, you know, if there was some kind of Anomalocaris type creature sneaking up on him, he wouldn't have had much luck. However, he could roll into a ball with his 19 to 21 segments, depending on, you know, the species and the size and I guess the sexual dimorphism. He could curl right up like an armadillo and there were very few things that could consume a ball of that size at the time. And its main paleontological use is that if a paradoxide specimen is found within the rocks, they make the rocks much more easier to date and put into context, essentially. Now, the tail region was unfortunately poorly developed, but this is a very early trilobite, so can we really blame it? No. I don't know why I'm sat so fucking awkwardly, man. There's actually no need for this, never mind. Now these trilobites, due to their size and activity, probably played quite a key niche ecological role. Now these are one of the most pervasive and largest species of Middle Cambrian trilobite. Their size and maneuverability allowed them to dominate the off-coast continental shelves that they claimed as their home. In addition to this, due to their size, they were likely predatory and somewhat cannibalistic because they most likely ate smaller trilobites. Now, although we don't know exactly why they died because it was a fair while ago, it was probably to do with environmental pressures as with most extinctions. However, at least we do have their remains to marvel at to this day. And that is all I have to say. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.